Vietnam, base building, real-time strategy. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to Leave No One Behind, Le Durang, a new real-time strategy game that came out at the beginning of March and looks really fantastic. The appearance of the game looks great, and it reminds me Welcome of... to Vietnam, Commander. We are now in the Falcon Zone. Yeah, let's enter the Falcon Zone. Reminding me a little bit of Men of War Assault Squad and also Sudden Strike. It's good to see you here. Let's get started. We have a scout helicopter in the area. All right, so our first task will be to look for a place to place our artillery. We must explore the area before we can place our artillery battery. And build an artillery battery. We're going to build bases in this game. We have the ability to call in the reinforcements via helicopter. We have the ability to call in bombers, off-map artillery, mortars, and much more. This game kind of operating a little bit like Company of Heroes, but also appearing a little bit more like Sudden Strike or Men of War Assault Squad to me, although much different as well. Any good spot here? No, it won't work here. There are too many trees. We have to keep looking. Okay. Well, obviously this hilltop might be a good position. Let's try over here. New task available. Oh, yep, exactly. All right, explore the central area. Yeah, the Bell 47 looks really good. We're going to be able to command troops of uh, the era of 1965, so weapons and equipment from there forward. It looks promising here. It could be a good place. And this seems like a good place to set up our artillery, Brother so let's get rocking. Arms. What's oh. in there? I see movement. Enemy contact. troops. We have contact. All right, NVA are on the way. We got to get out of here and secure this Fall area. Back from here before they take us down. We need to find an alternative landing site and land our troops. They don't want us to directly capture that area, so we're going to have to we'll go ahead and focus. To north along that road. Maybe we'll find Brothers something there. Arms. Focus on getting new troops into the area. All right, let's fly north along the road right here. Okay. And it looks like we're going to fly new to this available. position here next to the lake. All right, is it a safe landing zone for our troops? We're going to have to go in and clear that area out of NVA and Viet Cong forces, whoever may it be there. Good. That's a good place. Now we need our units On in the field. Sir. Oh, wow, we're actually going to land troops here in this open clearing. Units in the area New are ready. Task available. And wait for the HQ to do an airdrop. Okay, so we're going to set up an HQ section here. We'll have ammunition available. We'll have stretchers. We'll kind of set up a little bit of a perimeter. And we'll more than likely be under constant attack by NVA forces as we also are tasked with going to that central location to secure the area and then actually bring in the artillery. Doesn't look too bad, I must say. This is a developer team I've never heard of, and they just kind of randomly sent an email, and I was like, hey, I've never heard of this group of people before, and uh, it's quite delightful, actually, to see another competitor coming into the RTS space. Great detailing on the grass blowing around, and all the uh, trees, and the uh, leaves and such, all the shrubbery. Not bad. And it also is nice to see an actual jungle landscape rather than just a typical, like, village coastline or whatnot. Oh, that's a lot of stretchers. Oh, it uh, looks like the officers are here. I believe that's our officer there, our commander, maybe. And then the uh, protection, medical. Well, the command the unit is ready in the area. Now we'll set up camp. And additional uh, engineering troops to set up the camp. All right, how do we do that? Let's see. HQ is ready to send orders. Unpack HQ. Let's do that right here. Ah, oh, there we go. So stretchers Great. and ammunition. Command post is ready to give orders. Now it's time to call in combat platoon. Oh wow. Okay. New HQ features available. This is HQ. So we have New task available. In order to land safely with the helicopter, it is necessary to build a landing zone. Okay. Create landing zone. It will not be so easy. The surrounding landscape is full of trees and shrubs. <laughs> That's true. Fortunately, HQ has enough dynamite. Thanks to them, our patrol can create a large enough space for the construction of an LZ. Yeah, no need for axes or shovels. TNT should do just right. New task available. Patrol, separate. Separate a patrol and clear the area with TNT. All right, let's do that. Step back, boys. It's going to get a little messy. This is HQ. I can't move the HQ, so we're going to have an individual go out. Combat engineer clear the area, probably. Medical personnel. Explosives. Oh. All right, so we're going to TNT that area. Nice. There it goes. Wow, we're actually clearing the jungle to build LZs. Yeah, That's really damn cool. Three, two, one. Hopefully we have the ability to place trenches, pillboxes. It looks like we have the ability to build medical stations HQ and more. To areas to store ammo, transport helicopter, drop-off areas for state stations, upgrades for the base, and the ability to call in artillery, airstrikes, mortars, uh, airdrops for additional troops, and platoons that can drop at our uh, 
uh, LZ that we just basically cleared Landing an area out for. LZ use. is ready. We can call in the supply helicopters. All right, let them rip, boys. A1, come on in. Units in the area are ready. All right, so combat platoon A1 is coming in to LZ1. And we got our uh, scout up. Let's go ahead and look around for uh, additional trouble, maybe. Where may we have enemies? They've got to be watching us right now. There comes the additional helicopters for reinforcements. Well, it looks like we're relatively clear. Oh, that's so cool that we actually get to uh, bring in troops like that. I appreciate the fact that it's a little slower and simulates what it's like to get troops into an area rather than them just spawning off the side of the map or, you know, appearing somewhere in the middle of the field. I do appreciate that quite a bit. And it's great to see them pile out of the helicopters, and it really shows what it's like to secure an area rather than just, again, moving through an area and then uh, just having mission complete. It feels like we're going to be here permanently setting up bases along this area around Ladrang. All right. Troops are hitting the ground. Units on the ground, ready to carry out orders. Let's see if we can get additional troops from the HQ. Oh, it looks like we can buy more. So we have our HQ section, we have our first platoon. Let's bring in a second platoon. Okay, let's go ahead and accept that. New unit available. Squadron A1 HQ is ready, ready to fight. send orders. So I would like to call out another squad. Units in the area are ready. All right, let's get a second squad up. Waiting orders. Looks like we have formations. Occupy position in central part of the area. Explore northwest and southwest areas of the sector. Okay, so we'll have to go with there with the scout helicopter. Looks like with different formations, we get different move speed and different abilities for defense and damage. So I guess since we're out on patrol, we'll go for speed and then eventually go for damage. All right, we'll wait for the second platoon to kind of arrive. Let's go to this section here where the enemy could have some defenses, maybe anti-aircraft guns. I'm not sure. We'll send out the Bell 47, though, to scout. Nice. Really hope we get to build air bases. I hope there's a lot of defenses in this game. And though I didn't see any options for multiplayer, I did not see any options for uh, co-op, at least so far when I had peaked. Uh, it would be great to see many more things added to the game in terms of defensive modes. Maybe one player uh, defends, the other attacks. Oh, there's an enemy uh, position right there. The hell out of there. Vietnamese have their outpost here. It is not well fortified. We can take it. I advise using at least two platoons. Okay. So we can go there before New we hit the hill. Have been allocated to you. Maybe it would be good to use them for calling in another platoon. Oh, yeah. I can get three platoons now. Excellent. Very New good. task available. All right. Let's get our scout going. Serve our country. And let's go down here to the southwest section. Okay. We can call in a... A third platoon now. Brothers in arms. So let's go ahead and go back to the HQ section to order a the third Vietnamese platoon. Have a small base here. This could be a proper scent. Maybe we could use our planes. Oh hell yeah! We're gonna get air f uh, force support. <laughs> New feature available. New task at HQ. available. All right, air we could strike. see F4s then. Oh, they're already shooting. Uh, get the hell out of there. Serve our country. Careful. Okay, we got to keep an eye on this position, though, so we can call in the airstrike. Roger that. Probably going back to the HQ. I did see that option this before. Is HQ. There it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and call in an airstrike with the helicopter, or the, um, well, yeah, the helicopter scouting, and then what are we going to have? An F4? Looked like there was options for HE and uh, Napalm as well. Go ahead and clear both those areas right there. Bombing started. Oh, it's a propeller plane. Oh, nice. Good hits. A few troops down. Looks like we hit that tower as well. Oh, it didn't really destroy it they or anything. Didn't expect us. They're burning nicely. Brothers in arms. Wow. All right, let's get the platoons ready. Obviously, we're going to have to take that hill, so we'll have three platoons to do it. Uh, let's see. We have A1 and A2 available. Let's go ahead and call in the third platoon. Ready to call. Okay, good. Units in the area are ready. Perfect. Serve our country. Roger that. Roger that. Well, let's go into this other formation. All so these use. troops are in column formation. Brothers in arms. That allows us to just move a little bit faster through the trees, which is good since we don't see anything via the helicopter. All right, third platoon coming in. 
A1, A2, A3. We can give orders to move on the minimap. That's cool. And we'll wait for A3 to kind of clear the area. Looks like they kind of rally over here, so it's a good area to move out to the uh, west of our position. That is so damn cool. I really appreciate the ability to build somewhat of a little bit of a base. I mean, they do have some defensive positions set up now and stretchers and other things, but I really hope for an experience where we can do much more of that, add even more defenses, and, uh, you know, the better we perform in combat and the more important the area is to capture and secure against the enemy, uh, the more resources that are allocated to defending it with, again, all sorts of different uh, abilities to build barbed wire, maybe, uh, the ability to have more helicopters, patrols, vehicles, and more. Seems pretty good so far. The biggest complaint I've seen from other players, too, so far from this game is just there's not an ability to rebind controls at the moment. So, uh, for example, I'm using the arrow keys to move around in the mouse, which is kind of similar to duty, how it is sometimes in uh, Company of Heroes. So not too much Switch different position. there. A little annoying, but I think it's a small update the developer can that, that can make. That's a, a, a kind of a fair ask, and that should make a big difference for the game. Well, let's spread out Brothers our platoons. Let's go. Let's Roger go. That. Let's Brothers start our attack. Brothers in arms. Brothers in arms. Roger that. Brothers in arms. Okay, Roger so that. we got A1, 2, and 3 moving out. Looks like we have to command them individually. Hopefully this is more than enough. Minimize casualties and overwhelm the enemy. We serve our country. Roger that. Alright, A1. On duty, sir. A2. Roger that. Waiting orders. A3. Roger we'll kind of push like a crescent moon up the hill. Actually, that's the central hill. Minimap. Should bring us over here, actually. On duty, sir. There we go. Roger that. Brothers in but that's arms. a good area to uh, attack On the central duty, hill sir. as well. Roger that. We want to attack this way. We serve our country. There we go. Roger that. On duty, sir. Now there's also uh, On duty, sir. a border Roger scrolling, that. which is a little annoying, but other than that, not a big deal. All right, the HQ could be attacked by NVA forces now that we've left. They probably were observing us, even though we have uh, scout helicopters, so. But at least we're moving through the jungle nicely and finding that there's really nothing else here for us, aside from these other two positions. And I believe that's the last known position of NVA troops. This might not actually be two soldiers. That could just be a last known position. So we'll peek in with the helicopter here in just a moment. Awaiting orders. Let's change our change formation. formations, yeah. Let's go with negative 40 speed, but defense and damage for the arches. On duty, sir. Switch position. That's a pretty good position uh, uh, formation for those positions. All right, we're just outside the enemy position. Oh, looks like HQ is under attack. Our first contact with the enemy. Groups are getting into position. And defending against a small NVA attack. Sounds like AKs. Groups are down there. And that's probably the last known position. You can see him running, but that probably just means that that's where he was spotted and what he was doing when we last saw him. So a troop running from that position. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get into the attack here. Switch position. Go to arches here. Roger that. Roger that. Go ahead and start the attack from this way and Serve circle in through the top. We'll probably hold outside this position and have A3 move in from the top and clear through. And we'll move this way. Alright, so we'll secure the bottom section, central, and top. Looks like there is a little bit of a defensive position here, but after the uh, attack we should be alright. Do we have the ability to call in mortars or anything else? Well, we have the ability to do a lot in this game. We have the ability to call in mortars, uh, ammunition. Looks like we also have to keep the base supplied, so it looks like artillery shells, perhaps. Um, oh, actually, no. Law launchers, M79s, and also mortar rounds. Possibly More artillery, too, grinder. though, if we're going to build an artillery base. It's pretty All amazing. Good, looks like we can click HQ here to order anything else from the HQ if needed. Um, we don't have enough to... Call out another platoon at 3,000. We're close, though. Transport choppers sent. But I certainly love having uh, more uh, troops on the ground. All right, here comes the attack. Can we call in anything else from the HQ, HQ section? Ready to send orders. I would like to unlock mortars, but I'm not sure exactly how we do that. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I would like to uh, upgrade them or unlock the mortar, please. 
Well, let's get some mortar fire on the enemy. Oh, it doesn't look like we're allowed to do that. But it looks like base upgrades to make our troops more effective in combat. Things like, for example, improvements to first aid. Awaiting orders. And uh, airstrikes and such, and scouting can be improved. Bring the chopper a little closer. On duty, sir. Oh, nice. They're dealing with those troops very nicely. Three U.S. platoons. Awaiting orders. Moving in now. Fire on my command. Good to secure these before we go to the final objective, because obviously these troops can be called in to that position. Whoa, is that a grenade that went off? Serve our country. The hell was that? Got a man wounded here in yellow. Wonder how we'll, how we'll have to do with the uh, medevac. Now this is the first Serve mission, so I'm not Can't exactly flee. sure. Now we can search it for resources. How to probably uh, properly Fire solve that command. problem, but Serve we probably fire. can. Uh, on duty, sir. Wait for Fire the platoon to command. do it automatically. There might be a way for the HQ to do it automatically as they're out of our command for now. HQ is ready to send orders. First aid station, though, we could set up. Wow, look at that. And these are... Are these wounded? Healed soldiers. Oh, okay, so we can actually bring troops back here. We have no one who is dead so far. We have three wounded, one severely wounded. Yield soldiers, though, it looks like we can actually bring the troops back to the HQ. So, somewhat like Company Heroes, where you bring your troops back, either retreat or um, you have a first aid uh, patrol come up and, and uh, capture them, bring them back to the trauma station, get them back on their feet. I only see the one severely wounded, so I guess due to our lack of knowledge at the moment, we'll have to let them sit tight for Brothers now. But obviously we want to do something about that. There's some resources there in the center of the camp, which we could destroy or capture. Oh, actually, capturing that will allow us to uh, get more resources for our operation, which allows us to get another platoon. Oh, so holding that position is giving us a trickle of resources, so that's missing like a, upgrade. a resource node. And we're missing some sort of an upgrade for this. Missing upgrade. Not purchased upgrade. I'm not sure exactly what that means. Oh, HQ is under attack again. You can see the troops HQ coming in on the minimap. Reinforcements. Oh, unlocks purchase of B1, 2, and 3. Okay, let's go with that. Certainly would love to get more platoons. Enables the purchase of a scout helicopter, supply routes, speed of ammo carriers, 25% higher. First aid. Whenever stretchers pick up a wounded soldier, he gets 60 seconds of health and another two stretcher slots. I'm not sure how that works, but that seems badass, though, that the fact that we have to worry about wounded. I've not seen a lot of games manage that very well, other than just it to be kind of like a passive automatic thing. Which I wouldn't mind in this case either, but... Oh, here we go. We can bring stretchers. Out there. There we go. Leave no one behind. Name of the game. Yeah, there we go. About time we figured that out. All right, scout helicopter is in position. Let's move to the south now. The village down here. And we'll bring in the other platoons for the final battle. What we do want to do is, once we capture that center position, we definitely want to make sure we've got, like, 360 degrees of fire around that... Um, central position. So let's go ahead and call in this platoon here. Actually, what do we got here? On duty. Oh, yeah. So we have B1, 2, and 3 now. Oh, and it says their names at the bottom. So that makes sense. Good. More flesh in the grinder. More flesh in the grinder. Yep. HQ is ready to send orders. The only answer is more, more, more. Let's go ahead and call those troops in HQ then. Is ready HQ to is send ready orders. to send orders. I forget exactly how to do that now. Ordering supplies. Let's see, HQ. HQ is ready to send our orders. Country. Oh, actually, wait. Can we give these command now? Roger that. Oh, good. Oh, it's just the individual soldier from before who has the uh, TNT. Roger that. Well, they've been wounded too, so let's see if we can bring them back. Roger that. And our stretchers on the way. Wow, looks like they actually bring out the stretchers too. And yeah, they have to carry them back like that. That's a short distance to go, and uh, obviously not great to bring vehicles there. So that's that's pretty amazing that we get the option to do that. Okay. HQ is ready to send orders. Let's call out additional troops. That's what we're looking for there. Units in the area are ready. Perfect. Well, we got plenty of time for our troops to get into position. Go ahead and speed up Waiting these uh, troops here. Switch position. Change formation. We'll go for column formation. Brothers in arms. Get into the tree line. Quick. Brothers in arms. Our okay. choppers out of fuel. Choppers out of fuel. We serve our country. Oh. Is that going to crash? Landing, lift up, refuel. 
scan, patrol. Oh, I didn't know the helicopter could run out of fuel, but that must be its uh, timer then that eventually will run out. Interesting that our assets can run out of fuel. That's pretty cool. Let's bring that over here then. Now, if the helicopter crashes, we could lose the our mission. Out of fuel. Let's go ahead and just land. Uh, landing or lift up. I would like you to land. Uh, is there a clearing? Don't have an option for refuel. Search the area. Oh, there's a scan Search function. Complete. Area explored. So there might be the ability for enemies to cloak. Be hidden. Serve our country. Roger that. Low fuel. On duty, sir. Roger that. Awaiting orders. Roger that. Well, we'll have to hope that the helicopter will take care of itself. We got more important business to deal with. And we've got our new platoon here, so let's get B1 in, in position. HQ can defend itself. They're lightly attacking. Roger that. And the stretchers are on their way back with the wounded. There he is. Awesome. Love that, dude. Love the fact that we can actually build a base. It Suppliers are under attack. Feels like we're actually in a different position. Brothers in arms. Low fuel. Ooh, we got wounded here too now. This is HQ. HQ is ready to send orders. I want to do upgrades HQ at the HQ is ready to, send orders. to better defend. HQ is ready to send orders. Don't think we can. Uh, don't think we can build defenses here at the moment. Oh, we do have stretchers, so let's get everybody back up and running. No one behind. But Low fuel on duty, sir. Their attacks are increasing. Might be good to keep this platoon here for now. Roger that. Switch position. All right, we'll do just that. All right, Brothers in arms. let's go ahead and attack this position now. Change formation. Move into uh, Archie formation. Fire. Brothers and we'll attack, arms. move into Get that position. Quick. Fire. There seem to be a lot of troops there. They duty, had a defensive position and a tower as well. Switch position. Fire. We'll Low just kind of move, move through top, center, and bottom of that uh, village. Left, right, and center. Low fuel, yeah, I'm not sure exactly how to deal with that just yet. Wait here. Can it land on the HQ landing pad? Oh, it can. Hey, there we go. All right, so we can actually use the landing zone land for down. the troops. Okay, very nice to see. Awaiting orders. Yeah, they're moving. Out of fuel. They are moving Brothers in arches. In Serve our country. Oh, nice. Oh, oh yeah, nice. Very good. Probably overkill with three platoons, but perhaps there's um something to that. I wonder if we Our need to be here to fuel. continuously gather resources from it. We might need to have a patrol here, but we're still getting resources, so objective complete. Obviously, they'll probably recapture it. Brothers in arms, fire! Yep, looks like there's troops running from this side. Brothers in arms, you guys go on the outside here. Fire! We serve our country. Man, that's cool. Base is destroyed. Now we can search it for resources, which may be useful. Our chopper's out of fuel. Well, they still got uh, forces there. All right, did the chopper successfully land? Nice. Can it refuel from there? It doesn't look like we have duty, fuel. Sir. Fill up now. Ah, but it can refuel from a landing zone. Okay, so because this game focuses a lot on resources, I'd automatically assume that if we didn't have fuel barrels or some sort of way to refuel it, that we wouldn't be allowed to do so. But it looks like... Duty, it does sir. provide us with the opportunity to do that. Fire on my command. Awaiting orders. Fire. Let's Brothers move in this in way. Arms. Fire on my command. Brothers in arms. Oh, we got another wounded. Finish off that building. Nice. Very good. On duty, sir. And that's Roger now that. under our control. Oh, still some shooting. Fire. Would be nice to have the ability to micromanage troops to be able to throw grenades or to um, use other special weapons or whatnot in order to uh, 
capture enemy positions. All right, if the stretchers come through, they might have to come through this hill, so we definitely should make sure we've captured that Fire. before we send in the stretchers. So let's bring A1, Brothers in arms. Fire on my A2, and A3 Brothers. all there together now. All right, so Fire. NVA outpost and NVA village have both been captured, although it shows the uh, NVA flag still. I'm going to try to get the stretchers out there this is HQ. first. Uh, let's see. Those troops seem to be back on their feet. I wonder if they'll automatically rejoin the squad. Anyway, let's go ahead and capture this position. Negative one, uh, 443. That may be from the wounded, so score is definitely a point of it. So the more wounded that we have, the lesser our score. But if we heal them, we'll probably get more uh, points that way. No one wow. Behind. There was a lot of wounded there, but bringing in three squads seemed like the uh, right move. Plus, we bombed the hell out of it. I'm not sure why I didn't destroy the tower or that position there. Those were some pretty beefy bombs, but the army took care of it. All right, can we call out more than one stretcher squad at a time? This is HQ. Looks like there's just one, and that's what it is. Brothers, Lady orders. Not bad. Honestly, this is a much Start more lengthy mission than I was expecting for, like, a mission one of a game like this. This is seemingly well organized but we'll see what happens the first impression is very good there's a lot more here than I was expecting oh hell no all right that's a lot of troops there the stretchers are gonna have to go through that hopefully they're smart enough to avoid that I can't control them though that seems to be a passive ability so hopefully it looks like they're smart enough to actually avoid the enemy contact Maybe. We'll see. Oh, uh, they could walk right into it. Awaiting orders. Let's get our troops back to uh, columns and get Brothers up there. Change arms. formation. Brothers in arms. We serve our country. Okay. And I do love the fact that we can command all of our platoons Fire. just from this Brothers menu fire here. Arms. Brothers in fire. arms. On duty, sir. Getting some more wounded here. Brothers in arms. Yeah, it seems like it's necessary to keep this platoon here. They're hitting the HQ pretty hard. There's not a lot of troops there to defend that position. Additionally, we should be getting more income from these two positions we captured. Resources 2,000. Not sure how to capture these, though. That could give us more resources. I did try to click with the troops to see if we could capture that. I'd assumed it worked as a resource node. Awaiting orders. Where if we hold that area, it's ours, but yeah, there's not like a thing that pops up. Stretchers are under attack. Nor can I click that. Wow, they're attacking the stret... Stretchers. Waiting orders. Absolutely disgusting. Switch position. Waiting orders. Change formation. Get him, boys. Serve Get our into the tree line. Quick. All right, well, the stretchers are making it through, uh, serving as a distraction for our attack from the rear. Let's check the chopper. Serve our country. It'll be interesting to know what these points actually mean for the overall game as well. Like, for example, if we keep it from mission to Waiting mission... Orders. Fire on my command. On duty, sir. If we keep Fire those points command. from mission to mission, however well we do in one mission could also prove how well we do in another. So if we Brothers happen to find arms. a lot of supplies in one mission, and we go to the next bringing a lot of those supplies, we could perform very well or very poorly in the next Fire. mission based on our support. We serve our country. Looks like there's a squad coming in from this way, Fire. so we're going to try to block them. We're going to send A2 to block on the right side. A1's going right in. We serve our country. This gives us plus 10 damage, plus 10 defense, so we definitely want to use that to try to capture this hill. And finally command. get the artillery. Completing those secondary objectives seem to have paid off. Brothers in arms. Well, let's watch over A2. All right, looks like the Vietnamese at the top of the hill were dealt with. Brothers in arms. Fire. We serve our Fire. Country. And stretchers are arriving here. They work a very small area, so hopefully there's some base upgrades we can get to increase the area in which they'll work. But hey, Playing this game more is definitely something I want to do, so if you've watched this far, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe and turn on the notification bell as well, because we honestly don't get enough real-time strategy games, and we definitely don't get ones that are featured in, like, for example, Vietnam, or even uh, Afghanistan from the 2000s, or hell, even um, Iraq from the uh, Operation Desert Storm, although, of course, a much 
uh, faster operation, that one. I would Fire. love to see more, so let me know you'd love to see more, too. All right, well, we're about ready to take the hill. These guys aren't even ready for us. Some of them not even facing the right way. Stretchers are on their way back with the wounded. Looks like they're loaded up. Well, I guess you can't save everybody. It'll be interesting to see if there are booby traps in the future. Uh, pudgy sticks and other types of grenades and such for when you're out on patrol or if the stretchers will have to worry about that. And um, would be nice to see if there was a better way to see all the wounded as well. But we could see our statistics af afterwards. But it's it's a it's a war, damn it. There's going to be Wait casualties. Falcon Mary under control. We are waiting further orders. Brothers, you know, all right, we have captured the hill. Set Zone up some defenses. We can unload artillery. On duty, sir. Well, we've captured two enemy positions. This remains the case. We need to clean up the rest of the area. Oh, A1 is in bad shape. On duty, sir. But hey, you can see some of their veterans see here. Wow, yeah, being in combat for a while, they've become a more veteran squad, so they're less likely to take uh, damage. Oh, and here comes, wow, Chinooks with artillery? Badass. That is badass. And they're going to drop those off in this position here, so I assume then we'll probably get another HQ section to further clear up the base. Brothers in arms. Now let's go ahead and... Roger that. We serve here we go. Roger that. On duty, sir. Watch for the Roger that. NVA, wherever they may be. New objectives are to unload artillery, which is being automatically taken care of by the Chinooks, and to destroy all Vietnamese presence in the sector. Well, it should just say NVA. We don't want to... Uh, we want to win the hearts and minds of these people, not not destroy Waiting them. Orders. That's not what we're here to do. Roger that. All right, well, I'm going to be risky now and bring out another on my command. platoon. Get into the tree line, quick. There we go. All right, we'll bring up our fourth platoon now. Yeah, negative 4,100. Must be some other ways we'll have to learn to gain income continuously. I don't think it's about holding troops at these positions, though. It seems like a waste of uh, troops to just kind of hold these positions with nothing here. We should consolidate around the main objective. But, hey, it says objective complete, so that's good. On duty, sir. Roger that. Roger that. I want to make sure we're in good positions here. Is there a better defensive? Change formation. Change formation. No, it looks like Arches is the best position for attack or defense. And there's the artillery. So they're just dropping that off. Then it's going to be the troops' responsibility to dig that artillery in and set up defenses around it. So our base will be, uh, as they mentioned, uh, what was it, Falcon? Point Falcon? All right, B1 is on the way in uh, columns. In Looks like more stretchers are coming out. Would be good if that worked automatically. Wow, you can see all the wounded here. I'm assuming they're healing. Transport choppers sent. HQ is ready to send orders. Well, let's go ahead and give our troops better first aid. Interesting to know what these are for. Command points, command points, command points. Looks like there's yellow, green, and red, but I'm not exactly sure what the cost of certain things are or what these points mean. So I'm sure we'll be taught later in other missions on what these mean exactly. Wounded soldiers get a chance to get back to the battlefield. Stretcher's speed is increased by 10%. Okay. So yeah, definitely some great upgrades, but not known as to what it takes to... What, re what the difference between the colors are, how to earn them, and what they mean when you spend them. And there's a little bit more on the help here in the upper right corner. So these are some things that we could do if you want to grab a cup of coffee and spend the afternoon reading a TLDR. But hey, they give you the info. You just got to learn it. Looks like there's also speed controls here in the upper right corner. So this is times two speed, but this feels like it's um, IRL speed. Oh, incoming enemy. Oh, there's a lot of them. They're trying to move around. On duty, sir. Looks like they're trying to outflank these squads. Serve our country. Hold there. Wait. I'll move to engage. Serve our country. I'll move A1. Serve our country. Fire! We'll move behind them and secure Fire this section here. Looks like the HQ is under attack again. Suppliers are under attack. The artillery is on the Serve ground. Our we must protect duty, it at sir. any cost. But definitely oh good work so far. We, d we need to move back Fire. to the HQ. They're, there's, they're attacking way too often. HQ is under attack. New task available. Uh, artillery must not suffer major damage. Who the hell is major damage? Bring more orders. 
fire. Oh boy, yeah, we got wounded again. We're gonna have wounded just at the HQ. This is HQ. Retros, please. All wounded men will be evacuated. Good. All right, let's bring our scout chopper around. On duty, waiting orders. I want to keep it a little bit away from the battle. It would be cool if the scan ability gave us a brief pulse in all directions, a much much wider uh, line of sight. Wow, we wrecked that entire. Uh, looked like two platoons of NVA troops attacking. More wounded. Damn, we're just overwhelmed with wounded. No way we're going to be able to secure the HQ and also uh, troops out there too. Yeah, B1 needs to come back. I'm too afraid of losing the HQ, which means we would lose our wounded, and we don't want that to happen. We must defend the wounded. Oh, it looks like we can also deploy mines. So there is mining that we could do. Be interesting to see this from the perspective of the Vietnamese as well. Brothers in arms. Uh, to switch positions. See the tactics of their resistance forces and uh, their army and other tactics that could be Fire. utilized. HQ is ready to send orders. Fascinating. No one behind. All right, where are the stretchers? They are going... Oh, man, the stretchers going back out to that village to go get more people. We still have wounded at the HQ. It'd be nice if the troops at the HQ could actually uh, grab these guys and get them into the field hospital as well. All right, well, more... Art wow, that's a lot of artillery coming in. Uh, destroy all Vietnamese in the sector. I guess we got to go out and find them now. Serve our country. Not really willing to go out and search for them with the troops, so let's go with the chopper. Oh, they're coming in with another attack. Okay. Waiting orders. A1 is down to 12 man. Waiting orders. A2 down to 15. Serve our A3 country. down to 18. Damn, what a meat grinder. Okay, we've spotted them there. Looks like they're primarily attacking from this position All near the road. Sir. Fire. Waiting orders. I need more medics. I wish. I hope there's a way to actually uh, build that up. But since we're on objective, we should be gaining points. Maybe there's a way to gain income through these uh, transport helicopters too. Do we transports? We can call out for two thousand. We can call out additional ammunition for a hundred. Wow. Requesting supplies. Oh, we didn't really request anything, but that seems to be a way to keep Serve our troops our supplied too. So what if we? If Fire. we're not completing objectives, command points we don't get, we don't get ammunition. It's a horrible way to win a war. Brothers in arms. Oh, dude, you failed your objective, so we're not going to give you reinforcements, medical aid, or Fire. ammunition. It's like, whoa, we're not going to win this war then. Here they come. I'm assuming these troops are concealed in the tall grass and not necessarily, uh, like, under the ground. All enemies in the sector are destroyed. Oh, thank God. New task available. Uh, click here to finish the mission. You have 20 minutes to do so. Oh, I guess you could go around and complete side objectives if you wanted to. Kill ratio, 1 to 6. Mission time, 34 minutes. Real time, 38 minutes. Killed Vietnam. Oh, wait. Actually, so we were maybe um, a little slower than that. But, uh, oh, okay. So if you get a ratio of 1 to 50, you get a hell of a lot a better mission rating. Wow, that's amazing. I thought we did relatively well for the first mission, but this game pulls no punches. Viet Cong killed 239. Uh, friendly... Wait, Dead Soldier Zero? We didn't lose anybody. Or or is that the Vietnamese? Um, well, no. I, I don't know. Anyway, we have nobody rescued, nobody dead. 37 missing in action, which I mean, guess the... Okay, so maybe that's what we can do. The 30-something minutes remaining is probably for cleaning up the battlefield and increasing our mission rating, perhaps. Which then would give us an additional bonus, so I don't know if that's overall score or if it goes on to the next one for resources. That's what we're talking about. All right, let's go. All right, on to the second mission, then. We're going to clear an LZ with artillery, and then we're, well, we're basically going to blow all the trees out of there and then call in the troops via helicopter and then set up a perimeter around the LZ. Pretty damn amazing that we have to use the artillery we just set up to further clear our Commander, area. It is necessary to prepare the LZ. The area is full of trees and bushes. I don't want to lose the first detachment I send here. Our guards from... Oh, all right. He got cut off. Well, anyway, regardless, let's go ahead and set up the artillery. We will land LZ New task available. Build us a nice helipad. Oh, beautiful. Uh, with the help of artillery, clean the area with coordinates 
Uh, seven nine three two one four nine seven. So we want to use flame. Oh, wow! We actually have grid squares that we have to pay attention to. Seven nine three two. So that's down. Well, well, actually, they have it marked for us exactly. I think it's actually hard to see. One nine seven, six seven. That must be it right there. Oh, it does it tell us up here? One four nine eight nine. The hell? I don't know. Let's just call it in and see what happens. Uh, we're off by like a little bit. <laughs> Wait, why did it move over to the right side? That, that was nowhere near where we placed the artillery. Uh, this is 7932. This is where we want. And then we want to go... Really hard to see those numbers. 1466. So we're going up. But that's different from where we wanted to clear. So 97 and 32 is right here. I, I can't even see. Anyway, it's marked right about there. Uh, close enough. It's artillery. It's it's going to be off a little bit. It, le it looks like it moves. Anyway, that's pretty cool, though, that we get to clear artillery. Nope, nowhere near where we called out. But that's pretty cool that we actually get to use artillery to clear positions to then build bases. Additionally, we can clear an area with bombing strikes or mortars or an airdrop beforehand. Probably not a good idea to drop supplies before the troops, but you get the point. Man, that's really badass. That is way off. <laughs> nowhere near where I called it in. <laughs> Lol. I love this though. That's really cool. Very unique to Battery see that. Battery is ready. Yeah, I just clear, just clear everything. Go ahead and yeah, just clear it all. Oh wait, we could type it in. Wait, what the hell? One nine seven nine. Oh wait, could you just do that? Oh what? Oh okay. Well, I didn't, I didn't think I'd be typing out coordinates in an RTS to be honest. Oh, that's badass. That's cool. That's like uh, playing Radio Commander, which is another fantastic artillery game. I think based in Vietnam and also based in... There's another one on D-Day, I think, is both the Germans and perhaps the uh, Allies during the um, 1942... Uh, was it the Dippy Raid? I forget exactly what nice the name work. of it was, but... We are about to land. We can leave nothing to fortune. We must cover our Battery troops. is ready. Well, you know what? The fact that I cleared areas I wasn't supposed to is good. good a target. To protect our men, our artillery should fire smoke grenades to enable smooth landing. Awesome, dude. New option available. Smoke ammunition. Yeah, we want to clear the whole area, man. We're going to get TNT. Available. Yeah, I hope we get to build a big O base. All right, let's use smoke. Oh, I, I assume it's between these two points. Incoming airstrike. All right, let's see what we get for an Units aircraft. Units in the area are ready. Good work. Just airstrike in time. Airstrike is ready. HQ platoon is coming in. Nice. Despite no resistance on landing, according to intelligence, there are several hundred Vietnamese in the hills in front of us. We expect hot action. Oh boy, here it comes. New task available. Ladies and gentlemen, we are just simply out of time for Leave No One Behind. This game taking place in 1965 and onward around Le Drang is the uh, full name of the game. So thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Thanks for leaving a like on the way out. Thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you here for more real-time strategy games. This one looks like a good one, and I think I want to continue it. So, hey, if you want to see more, make sure you vote now before Susan takes that one away from you as well. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.